to those precious mom minutes when you can squeeze in some creative time, you finally have the downtime to spend an afternoon, let's say, in the craft room. So the question is, which project will you pick up? Whether you pull memory pages together or crank out some cards, that passion to cut, crop, and paste satisfies a huge creative urge in so many women. We've tapped Jill Broadbent for some of the latest and greatest ideas. It's great to see you. Great to be here. Thanks so, for having us. We're celebrating one of your favorite months. It is. National Scrapbook Month. Give me a sketch, Jill, on where that traditional hobby of scrapbooking really stands at the moment. Yeah, I think scrapbooking is still so alive and well. It's such a fun outlet for people and it is beneficial. It's doing something that is preserving your memories, that's keeping all of those things intact for the generations to come. It's family history. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. In a fun, creative outlet as well. So yeah, it's you, kind of both together. You satisfy that creative desire, right. which like I said, a lot of women have and they feel fulfillment in that and your memory keeping for your family right. at the same time. I want to dive in. You've got 10 yes. fresh ideas we do. for scrapbook bookers in honor of National Scrapbook Month, but these could branch out to all sorts of crafting styles. Absolutely. Card making, anything, paper crafting, any type of thing that you enjoy, it's a great way to do this with some of these fun techniques that you can do with paper. So First, you're seeing titles go really large scale. Yeah. So you can see on this baby layout here, we've done her name really large, the weight, and all of those important details, making that the focus of the page. So you can see that by adding those power punched titles, then that's where the emphasis can land on that page. So there it is. obviously the, the baby's adorable too. Well, but <laughs> listen, the baby steals the show in every yeah, single absolutely. page of that book, I'm sure. But those are the numbers, the details you want to document. Yeah. And remember, yeah. so go big scale. Yep, absolutely. All right, what is a list journal? The list journal's here. And so you can see that just by adding the details of those photos. What I love about this layout is that there we've got a bunch of photos. It could be one day that you've documented and you have a lot of photos, or if you're a little behind in your scrapbooking, it's a great way to catch up because you could do <laughs> nine months worth of photos on one page and just put what each of those outings were or events or activities, and you've documented almost a year catching up on one layout. So I it's a great way to get caught up. Busy moms are shouting thank you at the <laughs> yes. TV right now yep. because there is that overwhelm that sets in if you have missed, let's say, January through May. Right. Easy catch Do a up. quick page with Simple lots of photos. Simple squares, number, uh -huh. tiled, it yep. catches you up. All right, what's next? Um, so this one here is um, using pocket cards. So you've probably seen, this is another really fun trend in scrapbooking, let's see. is using pocket cards so oh. that you can do the little sheet protectors that are divided. You add your photos, you slide in the pockets. That's another great way to just get things done quickly to still have color and design to your pages. But what we did here was we took the cards yeah. that are made for pocket scrapbooking and applied them to a traditional layout. So we just oh, used see. the cards as our paper and yeah. as our embellishment, and that was a great way to still use those quick and easy products, but in a more artful way. Well, and it's repurposing maybe products like that. Yeah, you might like have a that. few left over, and you sure. can absolutely mix, mix those in with your layouts. So. There's something about that tiled grid effect that's so pleasing yeah, on the eye, it right? Is. Yeah, I'm it's a symmetrical a, girl. It's a perfect balance. Straight lines, yep. even Steven. And what, what have you done here? So this one is the journaling. Look at how fun the impact is by taking that journaling and making it the full page. Oh, that's amazing. So we did that with a Cricut. You could use a silhouette, any cutting machine, and we just backed it with white cardstock. Yeah, the detail is cool. If you don't have a cutting machine, though, you could do that on a full 8.5 by 11 piece of paper in your printer. Print your title in a large scale format so that it becomes the impact and the power on the page to have a really unique way to tell your story. So, so. a trend here that I've noticed in a couple of these layouts is, is typography, getting fun yeah. with your texting so and your journaling. There's so many fun fonts out there and cutting machines will let you cut your fonts now so it's just yeah. really fun to mix that up. Let's keep going. Okay. More ideas. Really fun down here in front is fringe. So your paper is just one dimension but by cutting it and just kind of giving it some texture uh -huh. you can just go straight up there with your scissors and cut little fringe. <laughs> Obviously that's a fun Cinco de Mayo page. Look at and that it's really guitar. You know, but look how much texture that adds to the paper just by getting that little fringe cut. And so. honestly a lot of times when we talk about texture that requires detail detail work, there's next to no time required yeah. for these little fringe <laughs> yeah. effects, right? Give it to your kids and let them just get Yeah, give them a <laughs> pair of kid safe them. scissors and yep. they are on their way. So down here we have some stamping. Obviously, stamping is a really fun technique for lots of different paper crafting, but you can definitely scrapbook or add stamping to your scrapbook. So where are the stamps so pointed out? All the title pieces down at the bottom, well this smile title is, as well as all the words that say be happy. We just random stamped that and kept that title going, changing the color as you go. Look how fun, um, kind of a great But all you had to do was load your block one time with a word, with oh, your stamps. Oh, with the green? So, yeah. So we just took an alphabet stamp, loaded a word onto uh -huh. our block, and then you can stamp that over and over as many times as you want in any color it's that you want. It's ombre. Yeah, and it makes, right? makes your own background. You're just basically making your own background paper. Um, so you could use letters, 
images, anything you want to do stamping on your pages that way. All so, right, this picture really is fun. just magical, and you've played up on that magic in the embellishment. Yeah, this one, what I love about it is a really fun trend in just layering your papers behind. You can easily just take your one-inch uh, scraps and layer those behind your photo. We've roughed up the edges, we've added just little pieces of vellum, but again, all of that keeps the focus on your photo. Right. So it just adds that little texture around your photo, but it doesn't distract at all from what you're doing there with that picture Another that you're trying to document. Great way to use your scraps. Yep. I love the rustic edge, and it almost jets out from the paper in sort of a 3D right. way. Yeah, if you're it just up gives close. you that dimension. What have you done here? Here um, is just using our photos inside the actual banner design. So instead of having your four by six photos all over the page, uh -huh. we've used those photos in that. And you can see you can use little dies to cut those nice and easy, but a, a cut like this is super easy to achieve if all you have is scissors. So just a fun way to add your photos into the actual design of the page. All right, this last photo I have to say takes Isn't the that cake. And the way that you've played up on the circular yeah. shape from the photo to the page is brilliant. So this is a really fun trend right now is just adding lots of circular elements to your page, but we went a step further by rounding the photo itself and making the photo part of the circle, and then the <laughs> title just goes right around that and really gives you just a fun impact on your That's page. That's adorable, that is adorable. The tent and final way to freshen yes. up your pages or your projects is a very, very oh, technical right technique here. called yes. smooshing. Smooshing is what we <laughs> like to call it. Very technical and really glamorous. Uh, but you can see here how we've got this watercolor pattern. Yeah. And that isn't printed on the paper. That's just done with watercolor paint. How so? Show so us quickly. So really fun. You're just going to take any packaging. This is the packaging that this, these embellishments come in. And you can uh -huh. see it's just kind of that crinkle pattern. You're using pattern. The plastic? Yep. You just use the plastic oh. packaging. Any plastic that you have around, my well-loved watercolors. Okay. So this is just water. So Brooke, what color do you want to use? Oh, pink. Let's go pink. Kay. It's on the brain. All right. Yep. For the baby girl Baby girl. We're you can use any of those fun pinks. Color. I'll okay. do some turquoise. Okay. My and what you're going to do, you're just going to get as much paint as you can and put it on the packaging. Okay. Just oh. willy nilly. Oh. All over. You're just trying to get like a little That's pile. That's my style, willy nilly. So there I you go. feel like I am meant for this project. Okay. So there's no right or wrong. Here's some cardstock. Then you can take just a little bit more water to keep that nice and wet and get the movement going. Okay. So you can just add a little water. Now, when you put this onto your cardstock, you're just going to flip it over and you can move it around before you lift up. So is you can see, smush? yes, this is smushing. <laughs> so you can see kind of where your pattern's going, where your paint's going, you can drag it where you want. Am I doing something artistic? No, y yes, you totally <laughs> are. <laughs> Does this count? Look at that. Yep, and then you can come back oh. in and pick up your plastic and oh. pop it back down. Kind of the spots take over. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Yep. That's darn cool. Yeah, then you can come back in here with some more paint, flick it on to get some more uh, texture and detail. Okay. But that's smooshing. So we did that smushing. here, just all the way down in a rainbow pattern, and you can see what a fun impact that is. It's kind of addicting and really fun just to see what happens when you mix your colors and your paints to make your own backgrounds. Really cool. Really cool. 10 fresh great ideas. I understand you've got a kit out to celebrate yes. the month. So Close to My Heart um, is celebrating National Scrapbooking Month with a very fun paper pack. You can see here it's all kind of vacation paradise Pretty themed. Colors. It's got paper, cardstock, a coordinating stamp set, and a cut above kit that lets you do the quick assembly if you want to go that route. So, all right. really so fun. contact our consultant to get yes, these special absolutely. kits. We'll link you on our website if you want to find a consultant near you who can dole out all of these darling products. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Joe. We appreciate it.